Here's a little video for all of those GCCP students at uh, High Tunstall School in Hartlepool who um, want to know a little bit more about the sport and fit principles when it comes to a personal trainer preparing a plan and uh, a programme for their different clients that they may work with. So before you can add any of the, um, of the principles together to make a programme um, for your client, you need to know your client. So we have a, a process which we call the initial consultation aspect where we um, will sit one to one with the client and we'll go over as much as we can trying to understand why they want to train, what they're hoping to achieve, anything they've anything done in the past previously which might relate to the training, which they may have enjoyed or they may not have enjoyed, any um, exercise injuries that they may, have, um, they may have had over the years and um, basically just get to know exactly what it is that your client wants from their training so it can be specific and you can plan a program which is going to be uh, enjoyable, uh, realistic and achievable for that person to be successful with you. Progress on a fitness plan um, happens in stages. So again, what we like to try and do is discuss our client, um, have assessment stages where we discuss progress, discuss what's went well, discuss what is still difficult, what may need to um, come back a step or two. But the key to progression is uh, discussion, understanding of what the goals are and trying to make sure that your client is on track to hit their ultimate target, which could be um, one of many targets. One of the most important factors for a trainer is the overload principle, which means um, maybe pushing your client past what they would call their comfort zone. So that could be a case of increasing um, the weight you ask them to lift, increase the time they may need to work for, and without overload, you um, you won't get any, any progress in development and uh, overall success. So overload is a really big important factor uh, in the uh, sport principle. So when it comes to applying the sport principles to, um, to being a personal trainer, obviously specificity, uh, progression, overload, reversibility and tedium, we've got to try and plan all five to make sure that uh, that program is precise for the client um, and also it's going to let them achieve what they want to try and achieve. One of the main things is the tedium aspect, so we've got to try and make it so it's, it's enjoyable and the client doesn't get bored of the, of the session, so using our knowledge to try and delve deeper into what we can do, um, which makes it A, invigorating, but B, rewarding at the same time as challenging for that individual client. So it's not too hard, it's not unrealistic, it needs to be achievable and it needs to be enjoyable if we can. So it does take a lot of time to sit and plan and discuss with the client and also take it session by session to understand what is the best way to, uh, to work around those principles of SPORT.